What's up guys, Mark Santos here, and welcome to my Mixkit tutorial part 3. And in this video, I will show you how to use Mixkit openers in Premiere Pro. Mixkit offers free assets like stock video, stock music, sound effects, and video templates for your projects. Let's get into the video. First, open your browser and type mixkit.co. Once you're at the main page, go to the upper right and click on the drop-down arrow under Templates and select Premiere Pro. Here, select Openers. And for this demo, we will use the Glitch Opener. Download this. After the download, open your Premiere Pro. Here you can see I already segregated the things that we need. This is the file that we downloaded from Mixkit and what we need to do is extract it here. Now the file is extracted and we need this Adobe Premiere project file and drag it to our project. Make sure you selected Import Entire Project, Create Folder for Imported Items, and Allow Importing Duplicate Media. Press OK. After that, we need to link this missing media to where we extracted the template. Press locate. I save it to this folder Mixkit Opener. Select the Assets folder. Select this placeholder file. Press OK and everything will be loaded to our project. I opened up here the folder that contains the rest of the things that I need to edit the opener. I have here my videos, my logo, and the music that I will use for this opener. Select all and drag it to our project. Let's begin. Select the Mixkit 397 folder and go to Assets folder. Select Nested and double click main underscore comp. It will open to your timeline and what we will do is replace the placeholder that is currently on the background. To do that, I will close the Assets folder first so that you can see everything clearly. Go to Edit Folder. Select Shots Folder. Here you can see Nested Shots. Double-click the first one and it will open another tab on the timeline. Open the rest of the Nested Shots. After you opened all of it, go back to your first nested tab. What we will do is we will replace this with our own video. I will go to my videos folder. I will drag my first video to replace the existing video in the nested shot 1. Select the nested shot 2 and drag the second video to replace the existing video. And do it to the rest of the tabs. After that, go to your main comp tab and when you play it, all our videos are already in place. Next, we go to the titles folder. Double click on the title one and it will open up another tab in your timeline. Do it to the rest of the titles. Once it's open, select your first title tab and change the text to your desire. Select Title 2, change the text, and do it to the rest of the Title tab. Once you're done, go back to your Main Comp tab and play it again to see the changes. Now let's go to the Logo folder. Open it. Double click on the logo and another logo tab will open at the timeline. Drag your logo. I will just adjust the scale to fit the screen. 
go back to the main comp tab and play it. To complete my opener, I will add my background music. I am using Epidemic Sound as my source of music and sound effects. So if you want to try it out, they are offering a 1 month free trial and I will link it at the description below. After placing your music, set your in and out points. Let's export this. Go to File, Export, Media, let's name it Opener. Press Export. Now it's done, press OK and let us play the final edit. So if you like this video and you get something out from this, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, it will help me a lot. And don't forget to turn on the notification so that you will know every time I uploaded a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.